Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We are back and better than ever before. There is a way to do this. Oh, crap. Okay, don't jump in, though. We gotta... Can we roll around? Like, it's definitely a throw-your-body kind of situation. Oh, look at that. We did it. After some thought previously, finally figured out what it was. We got cavern key. I was kind of hoping for an exit. Oh, crap. Um, yeah, definitely avoid jumping in the incredibly lethal lava. Okay. Well, we can't... We definitely can't find through the lava. We got a cavern key. Now, if only we could find the place that the cavern key goes, then we'd be sitting pretty for at least a little while. We can do this. We can be better than we've ever been before. We, we can get over it. Not with Ben and Fadi, but, but on our own. This, this skill that we possess will bring us to victory. But where does the cavern key go? Does it go in to the caverns? Or is it to get to the caverns? I'm not entirely sure. We could also... Well, never mind. We can't afford... We can't afford anything in the shop there. The secret shop. It's a little... It's a little too rich for our taste. We haven't found a single teleporter yet, but we did manage to backtrack to the very beginning. I mean, that's not its not the worst thing in the world. Wish we had enough money for the blueprint extractor, but sometimes you just, you're, you just run out of funds because you do something stupid and decide to fight an elite enemy. It's just a little too strong. Let's eat it. 15% HP is not bad. Actually, when we only have 100, that's just 15 HP. But when you break the door, they're stunned. And that's one of the best parts about having a smashing good time in this game. We are going to up our brutality first. And then I think we'll do tactics. Actually, tactics is probably going to be last. At least with the setup that we have right now. Look at this. Everything is peachy. Ooh, we managed to not take damage from him where I thought otherwise that we would. We are going too slow right now, but that's fine. We'll grab we'll grab the gardener's key because at least it'll pay dividends to get that uh, white flower. Oh, a new arrival. The rats haven't even gotten to him yet, but there's a lot of stuff to scavenge. Ooh, the Royal Gardener. Obey your orders. Yes, yes. We've been through this dialogue before. We will take the dilapidated Arboretum key. Ooh, maybe this is it. We can, we can get in here. The dilapidated Arboretum. Well, no, I want to find out if there's a cavern key. I, I know that the... Uh, okay, well now, maybe all of that just ruined our ability to get... The no damage, or the, not the no, yeah, the no damage enemy kill door. If so, that is just, uh, wildly unfortunate for us. I guess we could have just teleported down this long corridor. Maybe, maybe it is just enemy damage. Do those plants count as enemies? He's been dead for a while, but we don't want to go that way. Where's the sewers? The one place that we always seem to end up recently. I think it's mostly because it at least appears to have a lot of area left to explore. Like, we're not doing the best job finding uh, all possible routes out of there. So that's where I went last time. I seemingly have a propensity to travel vertically. More so than anything else. Uh, I did change on doing tactics second. I don't know why. I don't believe it was the right decision. But I made it anyways. Ooh, get back here. If we freeze him, he can't run away. And then he's a lot easier to hit. 
that. We're just making we're making clean work of all of these enemies. I love when our uh, our down smash is enough to just take out an enemy. But where's the exit? Is it up to the right? Maybe, dude. I don't know. We gotta find the caverns uh, or the cavern keyhole. Wherever the cavern key goes, it is quite strange. It doesn't look very key-like. Okay, don't roll before you hit the ground. You'll just be stunned. Yeah, yeah, I know. The doors that just show our abject failures. Refreshes the shop stock at a very reasonable price. I mean, not bad at all. We want to get the the cursed sword. That seems like the most interesting thing available to us. Uh, yeah, we're poor as all heck, but we are still. Oh, what should we take? I don't think scheme is the best thing. Maybe combo right now. You know what? We probably should have taken an extra life, given that we're going to fight. Hopefully. The giant. I don't know if we'll even find him. Or if we'll even find the caverns, but that is our hope. Maybe the caverns are in the sewers after this. Oh, the rats are a little too fast for the broadsword. That's a okay. We can one shot everything. Ooh, but we do just get hit because we're a little too slow. Just have to make sure. So I did not mean to drop all the way down. I want the secret. We need money more than ever. So there it is. Twelve fifty. That is, I believe, the best that we could do. There is not a more valuable item. At least we trap the rat. Like a rat in a trap. Just stay frozen. Maybe we should just freeze, like, all enemies first. Okay, we have to go back down, because this is not the way. Wait, also, that's not the way. That was the enemy that we skipped the first time. Okay, we gotta go down here to the right. Like, broadsword is nice if you can hit the enemies before they hit you. Otherwise, it's just a big old loss. Like one, look, I mean one-shotting everything, I guess the, the trade-off is the fact that it needs to be slow. Otherwise, it's just strictly the best weapon. It also can, like, ramp up its damage so high. Like, if you remember the first uh, right hand of the king fight that we had, it was a little too ridiculous. Well, not the first fight, but the first successful fight that we had was solely because we had a broadsword and absolutely no skill. It was just such a high damage output item that we didn't need to be good. We just needed to swing it a couple times. Sometimes I have a very difficult time dropping down, like a quarter inch. Not sure why. Then again, I don't think I'll ever know. We'll do... Honestly, brutality between the two. We should probably get some points in survival if we can. Ooh, a rare blueprint. A rapier. I mean, I'll take it. That's just one enemy there. We don't need to go back to fight him. So we won't. We shan't. This is not a way out. This is just a secret snack. We got cells. We got time. But what we really need is to just get away from everything over here. We could switch everything up with a bow. Honestly, no. Now's not now's not a bow run. I think it's a freeze everything all the time kind of run. Dude. Ah, okay. So we can pay to refresh the shop. Uh, right now, I'm going to say no because we hardly have any money. Did you see light speed down there? Because I did, and that's exactly what I'm going for. Ooh, I tried my best. Got a little bit of money. Light speed's just down there. How do we get to it? Might have to backtrack. 
I, I saw it on the map and I was like, I need that item. 70% HP up. Honestly, isn't even the best part about that right now. I think it's the fact that it scales all of our weapons. Is that one bat just going to follow us till the end of time? I think so. Is this just always going to be a greed shield? Okay, that's not a teleporter. We need to go up just a little bit. Hopefully we're not running too far behind schedule. The first floor is just kind of if you find the room fast enough. Okay, we gotta go... Honestly, probably, I think, I think down and then back around is the way to do this one. Wait, was that not... Oh, that was not connected through there. Never mind. We definitely have to go the opposite way. Can't get through that floor. We gotta go up and over. So we just need to descend as fast as possible. Yeah, so then we can we can sidestep over here. Cost 2,400. It's cheaper than everything else. Curse chest. You know what? I think this is our time to shine. Curse chest. Yeah, we've outraged the gods. That's fine. But we do have a stat up that we can use. Everything's... We're super mixed on damage right now. Oiled sword 3... Okay, yeah, it's... Okay, it, it's it's less damage overall than the broadsword, but I think in order to rid ourselves of the curse, we definitely need to do it. Okay, we're already down to having only six more enemies to go. Scroll of power. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm a little stressed at the moment. Okay, there's five more. The big problem is going to be that area to the right. Can we... Okay, we could not successfully trap them. Ooh, but we did one-shot them with our dash. Okay, do curse lifted. Okay, that's the second time we've done that. Which is amazing. Also, it should not have to be that difficult. Uh, 211 damage... Nah, we'll keep the wolf trap. Definitely not getting rid of light speed, though. I don't know why you thought that might be what I would do. But look at that. A little dash back. And then everybody's fine and dandy. But it just said 30 enemies. Did we... Did we do it? Or is this a floor where we need to do 60 enemies? We have... We have the ways and the means right now. And then we just... We wasted it all. As soon as I start glorifying myself, then it's like, yeah, he's he's gonna get hit. He's gonna take some some damage, probably well deserved. But you know, it kind of is what it is. We want to go to the ancient sewers. We want the broadsword. Honestly, probably not. Probably not. Maybe it is the better choice. But I think if we if we're fighting if we're hopefully fighting a new boss for the first time, we want to be able to move quickly. We don't want to have to dedicate ourselves to any attacks. Okay, so we did get thirty without taking any damage, but we didn't get sixty, which is significantly harder. It looks critical hit immediately after a roll or parry. I mean, we do we do roll quite a bit. Throw it all in the curse sword because I definitely want to try it out. It seems to be super risky. I mean, <clears throat> we at least have the option to upgrade that to S. Hopefully we can do before we find the giant. If we do find the giant at all. Scheme is definitely going to be good for us. Probably my favorite mutation now. I don't know if it's actually the best, but I at least interpret it as being the best. Yes, I do like jumping down a lot more than I like riding the little elevator platform thing. I don't know why. There's just something within me that, that calls for me to do it. And now that we've already done one chest, we at least have a strong 
internal resistance to taking another curse. Oh crap, I don't know. Oh, was it one of the eggs? Because since it started at the very beginning, we might be able to but still get around all of this and manage to pull out, uh, not a victory, but getting, never mind. I gotta say, getting enough enemies killed without taking damage, but if we do that, that was really weird. Do I want to take the kebab? No, we don't need it. And then if we die, it'll be like, yeah, we 100% we needed it. Let's get out of here. That guy is obnoxious. I feel like we'll really start to pop off once we stop going to the sewers. Once we go back to the promenade of the condemns, the, like, quicker path in that direction. And honestly, the easier path. Then it'll be like, oh, dude, we, we've been stellar this whole time. How have you not noticed? No, we could re-roll the shot, but I definitely would rather save up for the S rank. I think that's going to be more of a success plan than just buying different weapons. We almost did it in time. There's one of the keys that we need. Honestly, we only need to have, like, one. Is this a better light speed? Light speed 3 plus. Sure, it doesn't seem like it's a crazy difference. But uh, 3 is better than 2 as far as I know. I'm not uh, I'm not really looking at the fine details there. If it gives me a bigger number, I take the bigger number. Ooh, we don't want fire brains. I don't know if there's really any weapon that we're going to find. Probably an ice grenade is what we take. But we can cross this void. Oh, it's just a, another secret zone. What a, what is going to be here? Oh no, that's the dead soul or er, Dark Souls campfire. We decided to change something. A guy in armor had been dead for a while. And he left us an infantry bow 3. Which is some pretty decent damage, but... I would rather freeze enemies from a distance. Oh, crap. We need to go back in there. This. Th that guy. Yeah, when we kill him, we get a ridiculous amount of cells. That's why that room is the best. Whenever we can find it, we'll be super happy. Ooh, you fool! You walked into a room with us. And, oh, that was the first time we got an amulet this run. Like, if we have the ability to preemptively trap whatever the elite enemy is, it just, it stops being a challenge. I meant to go the opposite way, but I guess it's fine. We actually two shot the tentacle. Maybe this is the run of legend. What they they always spoke about in in hushed silence, in hush in hushed tones. I don't know. They they felt like they couldn't talk about it because it was so fabled. We gotta get out of there for just a moment. Mushroom man is trying to take us out but we will stop him from doing thusly oh he thought he was coming at us but we light faced rushed behind him or whatever it's called i don't know tactics i think we just have to stack it because we've already been stacking it but we got one you know what i have a strong feeling that the tentacle up here has another key but wait for him to come back. Then we'll take him out. Okay, he doesn't have a key, so I was wrong. But. Okay, no, we don't want to just go take a ton of poison damage. I guess we're supposed to Spider-Man that area. Ooh, if this oiled sword up here is better than the one that we have, that's going to be a little insane. Because we had to go through a curse to get that one. Yeah, okay. It's definitely not better. Actually, you know what? We should be throwing everything in purple. Because this is a colorless oiled sword, isn't it?
Um, Amethyst. We'll dash. Oh, we almost took him out. It, it's weird when you backstep. It was that technical. I was I was thinking about that one when I said the other one before. But I don't know why, but I just did. Pop up so we can take it out. We got one more key that we would like to find. We definitely don't need it. But I think I think we'll actually run into it just in the course of trying to get out of here. Guardian scroll, everything's going into tactics. Yeah, now that we have our colorless sword in purple, everything is rocking tactics. So that's good. Yeah, see we got it. We got it in the course of our exploration. We didn't need to try too hard. So now we can just kind of oh crap, get out of here. This is the area that for some reason last time just absolutely devastated me. Oh, do this again. Let's find out if there's a new thing. Okay, we could just get uh, like a weapon for our efforts, but I don't think that's enough for us to spend all the time. Okay, we could. This is a tough one. This is a really tough one. Wolf Trap is sick. But what's better, the ice grenade or teleporting behind people? Honestly, teleporting behind people, especially for the conjunctivious fight, it's just better. Like, it's it's pretty obvious that it's the best choice in this situation. We do have enough to upgrade our colorless sword to S+. Plus, or not S+, plus, just S. I don't want to get a, a, too ahead of myself. We are going a little speedily through here, so I feel like there's not really any reason the conjunctivious fight should be too long. We do have 82 cells, which is a little crazy. More than we usually have. I think we'll we'll put enough to be one short, so that way next run we can get the cursed sword like immediately. You know what? I now that I think about it. We should just do that with like most things. Get them all one away, and that way each run will just unlock one of them to try it out. Curse sword is getting close. We'll get Assassin's Dagger. Really close to the end as well. 371 crits to 1000 damage. Oiled sword crits a little more though. As the enemies with inflammable inflicts critical hits during 10 seconds after hitting an enemy on fire. So if we had a way to put enemies on fire. Dude, I'm sorry, Rapier 5 Plus. You gotta go away because this guy can become S rank, which is definitely worth it. Oiled 3S. 1000 base damage, crits to 1500. Does it seem obscene? Yes, but it is obscene in a way that is good for us. Everything about us right now is currently slowing enemies down we could reset our mutations to be melee slow scheme and frostbite or maybe art of ice frostbite and melee slow i think we need it we need to at least have scheme melee slow and art of ice maybe I don't know. I it's it's a tough choice, so we won't make it. That's the solution I came up with. It's it's too difficult, so we're just not even gonna bother thinking about it. We're going to the insufferable crypt, and we are gonna take out our eye in the sky, conjunctivious once again. I don't know if you guys are are sick and tired of seeing this fight, though we are putting in so much work right now. I I was too excited about what was going on. That we really should have been able to do this one damage free. Uh, that was a little stupid, but we already lost it. I just need to get a little bit better at sidestepping these tentacles. Ooh, the damage output is insane. Ooh, and we can freeze these guys. Ooh, he, we slowed him, but we can't get to him. That's... Oh, come on. What are you doing? We can dodge these things little by little. Ooh, I think... 
the best way to dodge something is as it's, something's coming up, you either roll to the side or just like dash through it. Can we dash back? Yes. Ooh, we just got behind him. Yeah, just step away. It's a, what, a two second cooldown? I think it's definitely worth waiting for. Ooh, frozen and you don't know what to do about anything. Oh, we almost got him frozen once again. We do have one chain left to break. This is it. Last set of tentacles. Easiest conjunctivious fight so far. Our dashing doesn't do a ton of damage, but that's okay. Honestly, if we can injure all of them without taking them out, it's probably a better way to do this part of the fight. Because as soon as one dies, they all get buffed to be a little bit stronger. Yeah, so if everybody's like one hit away from death, then all of the different the different rounds of tentacles. I'm starting to see the pattern. The matrix, the green code is just going right in front of my eyes. I know what's happening. You can't hide anything from me. We know everything. Conjunctivious. You should stop trying because you're not gonna succeed. This is one we're one teleport away from taking you out. That was it. Easiest fight we've had so far, probably because we just had a ridiculously strong weapon. We have to take curses every time. If we don't take curses, we're just inviting failure. Uh, yeah, we're not going to take a worse item. Like, it's not like, oh, in general, it's a worse thing. It's just, it's worse than what we have. We're going to the graveyard. That's where it is. Maybe, maybe the large rune has something to do with what we got right now. We did make it in time. So we got a little bonus for the finding plus items, plus ranked items, sorry. Downward smashes, attacks, burn the ground. Uh, definitely we need, never mind, we already have that. So what's the difference? Toxic cloud when you take damage, dodging plants a bomb. No, we're just going to trash all these then. If that's, if that's the option we have, we're just going to trash it. Yeah, I know. We didn't make it without taking damage. It was the best opportunity that we had. We're getting close. We're getting close. We're only 30% of the way left, dude. The attack following a successful parry inflicts 207 damage. Uh, maybe it's worth it, but not for right now. I think, I think maybe once we get a couple more things that involve shielding and parrying... We'll start using shields again. By again, I mean for the first time ever. Ah, there is no secret this time. I guess that is optional. They don't have to include it every time. Like, throw in a little bit of extra money at us. But, I mean, I would love it if they did. Ooh, we took damage and we emitted the poison cloud. Our damage is stellar. If we can get in by these enemies fast enough they shouldn't ever be able to cause us severe injuries we don't want this one we just want to get out of here i know it was great i liked finding it but it wasn't what i was looking for this is also not what i'm looking for but thank you for throwing a little extra cash my way we just need yeah we need to dodge the grab that guy i think we should Think about a little bit more as we're fighting him. Ooh, the grappling hook. We can use his strength against him. Not now, but sometime in the future. This is where the key is. Ooh, we got an upgrade over here. Which one are we going to throw it in? Yeah, brutality, because it at least boosts the other things that we have. That's another thing to think about mutations-wise, is what... What is a good set of mutations that all involve the same upgrade? Because that way you don't have to spread things out so much. Who he thought he could get us. Bet you didn't think I was capable of, of such wonderful plays. No, 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 no. Okay, we almost didn't make it out of there, but we did. I know that's uh, a relatively useless statement. 
But hey, it felt it felt right at the time. Just stop flying away. Like, you know you're gonna die. Why don't you just accept it? There's something going on over here. But we are finding all of the secrets this entire area has to offer. Let's go back out and about. We got a key. I still don't know where this cavern is. Or cavern key. Dude, and thus ends the 30 enemies. The guy that keeps grabbing us from behind. Or just in front. We're just having a hard time uh, stopping him. Everything was going fine there. See, we can we can take him out really fast too, which is slightly frustrating. Honestly, I, I don't like the uh, the loser's mindset of like having items that only boost you when you take damage. But this uh, poison gas cloud actually seems to be quite incredible. Dude, is a is it a better light speed? It is. Let's go. Let's go. We're starting to get enough where we might be able to boost things that are not our sword. It did take a hefty chunk of change to get to where we are now, but I think if you have the ability to get anything to an S, it's definitely worth it. We need the architect's key. We can't get into that door. Oh, you know what? Let's do this. Can we go... Well, that is not what I wanted. Can we go... Can we go... Uh, 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 never mind. I don't think I don't think we can do it. We shouldn't have taken that damage, though. There might be a way to, like, go around that and get up. Maybe there's some secret area that we haven't found, or we just need to get a key from later on. I'm not entirely sure. Ooh, that is the strength of a powered up light speed. The delay on it, as far as cooldowns go, is a little bit too high for my liking. But it's worth it for the ability that we end up with. Lava, that sounds like Reign of the Giant stuff here. Or do use before we could only inspect. Do we this is this is where it goes. What's down here, though? Okay, just a way to get back. No, we're not even going to bother going anywhere else. Oh, this is the cavern. The cavern key opens the cavern where all of the red crystals are. So we are on a run that is absolutely solid. The grappling hook pulls enemies towards us. We're going to be one short of, a, of an unlock right there, which is fine with me. We haven't been using Frostbolt that much. I think the best upgrade would be light speed. We're a little shy of being able to upgrade phaser. Light speed dashes damages enemies on the way. Activate again, dash back. Extra damage to poison and burning victims. That's fine. We could reset our mutations. Maybe we want the heart of ice frostbite i don't know i don't know I, and because i don't know we're just gonna ignore it <clears throat> health flask filled i think if we can be successful in this dude there was so much up there there might have been some secret along that that drop shit that drop shoot but i did not believe i saw them longest time without incident 45 seconds <laughs> That's not very long. <clears throat> Reach the cavern for the first time. We've we've done it. Together. Better together. Where? Okay. Holy crap. Yeah, no, we're not going down that way. This is why we can only go 45 seconds without incident. What is... Oh. Okay. Uh... I would love to not die to just the nature around us. What is, uh, there's so much negative stuff happening. Can we just take out this area cleanly and reset? Oh, my word. Okay, so this is a challenge for pros, not for the faint of heart. What do you got in this shop? We can't even afford it because a restock is 15 grand. Yeah, no, uh, maybe we weren't prepared for this. 
We have nowhere else to go. We just have to do it. Are these items going to be super strong? 1300 damage is what our sword crits to. Dude, if we had the money, maybe. Maybe in the future it's just save up. Don't even bother upgrading because you can just buy a better weapon when you get here. Maybe that's what it is. These enemies are very tanky. It's a massive step up in difficulty from before. No, no, I did not mean to dash back. I don't know. Okay, we can't really get out of here. I think we just we just run like a scared animal. Who we'll freeze them all? Freeze them! I just want to. I'm doing my best. We definitely should be using more of a tactical approach. We did put all of the points in tactical for a reason. And also, now that I think about it, we ended up tying, so it's taking brutality for our sword. Which I don't believe is what we want. For being a cavern, we're going awfully far up. He's so swole. Like, are you insane? He's so strong. Or maybe it's just from the back. It's just from the back. Okay, so we gotta attack that one from the front. That bird is a very fast damage output. So we definitely have to do a little bit of dashing behind him. In thankfully we do have two different ways to accomplish that fact. Or that feat. Whatever you want it to be. Fact fiction. I don't know if either care about your feelings, but do your best. Ooh, we went behind was that did that guy have a hand for a face? That's a little sketchy. We're gonna throw it in tactics. Because we want Okay, was that like a triple upgrade? Maybe we should have thought about it a little bit more. If we go if we go down from here, is it gonna be a huge pit of lava? I tried to get to the wall. Okay, if you find anywhere that looks suspicious just accept that it probably is... Oh, we're going down, not up. Well, I guess we can just teleport back up. It's faster than riding it. And in case we need it again, uh, we called it back up. Though I don't know why we would. We could just teleport around. Ooh, we, we have a way to make it through this level stress-free. I don't know what those guys do. It looked like he was charging up like a kick or something. Okay, we just did not realize that that guy could do what he did. I think that's just an obstacle. Oh, it would help if I actually attacked in the right direction. Yeah, I, I don't think we can do anything with it. It's just kind of a landmine. Through the caverns is very spacious and airy feeling. I hope we don't have to go find a key somewhere. If we get to a door and it's just like, oh, you need to find a key. How is there lava this high up in the sky? Or are we just in a cavern? We're in a cavern. Okay, never. That's, I think that's a very dumb statement on my part. What is this? Tactical retreat? That sounds like something I want. A teleport away from an enemy and then a teleport back from behind. Okay. Uh, I guess that obstacle took him out. Teleport behind him, please. A little bit of a dash never killed nobody. As as we actually dash to kill somebody. Choose one upgrade. I think we just gotta we gotta stack tactics every time. But we can't go up through that, so let's just ignore it for now. We might be able to use the landmines to our advantage if we put in enough forethought. Ooh, everything up here is worth so much money. Okay, he seems to be immune. Who is that? Like a cave bear or something? The enemy design is super interesting. I don't have enough time to appreciate it as I'm just panicking for my life. Let's go. I feel like up is the only solution. Good movie. The beginning was better than everything else. How do we take out these two? Freeze this one. And then dash this guy. Freeze him. And we ended up getting hit from rocks from the ceiling. Dude, ice armor. 
I wonder if that is truly just an aesthetic thing, or if, like, it actually helps reduce damage taken. I think it's just aesthetic. I feel like it would have said something if it were anything otherwise. Okay, we can go down this. Ooh, Guardian's Haven. I mean, we're taking the first exit. We can't take every exit. So we're just going to take the Guardian's Haven. 60 enemies, no damage. You're out of your mind. Tactical retreat. Dodging attack at the last moment slows down nearby enemies for 1.8 seconds. They can no longer infect you with the malaise during 3 seconds. Not bad. Counterattack. Oh, we already looked at that one. What's Predator? Killing an enemy with a melee strike. Oh, makes you invisible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have so many things to unlock. It'll be great. Dude, we, what we could do, what we could do, is get everything down to one cell left, go through a successful run, end up with like 50 some cells, and then just unlock everything all at once and have it rain pogs from the sky. Who we we worship the Lord and he responded by raining down sweet pog from the heavens. Okay, we are poor as, as all heck, but we can save up to 20k for our next run. I do I do like just throwing in the full investment on this one. Because it's it's brand new, we have no idea what to expect, so we definitely need help more than anything else. The giant didn't kill didn't like the hand of the king. And cold reach the guardian's haven for the first time. Oh, this one's this one's gonna suck because yeah, there's lava on both sides, and I'm assuming it's gonna be similar to the hand of the king sweeping us to both sides. Is this is this already the end then? But I don't know. How does he smell? You here? The malaise has really had its way with you. Ooh, he can smile though. Yes, indeed. How is he moving his skull like that? In keeping with your arrogance. Which has brought nothing but ruin on the kingdom. In spite of all my warnings, not a shred of hope is left to us. So we're gonna fight each other? I? Dude, why thank you. Okay, we have to. F oh, dude, this is like a master hand fight. Um. What do we. What do we even do? Okay, we can't freeze him. There's just gonna be a lot of a lot of dodging things. Oh, I I teleported behind the wrong thing. Um I think we just take a potion now. Um Yeah, don't be too focused on dodging that we never attack. This magic man. Oh crap. Uh this is time for another bout of healing we only have one more that's not good Ooh, we're getting close to breaking his hands and then maybe we have to fight the rest of his body i think we are yeah we're like kind of one hit from death okay we did take out one who he's got an eyeball now his hand is back to full strength what we how many Oh, do we didn't even put a, a dent on his health bar? Like his real health bar? Uh, I don't I don't think we are adequately prepared for this. Our dodging skills are nowhere near enough. Holy crap. No, so we did just a sliver of damage to his health. The giant is well, uh, a giant insurmountable task. Next time, hopefully, we do a bit better. We ended up with uh, the least amount of money so far. 650 gold. Holy crap, though. The giant is not a laughing matter. I think it's time to do stem cells. So the next time around... Oh? Well, anyways... Something seems to have changed. Current settings. Okay. Next time around, we'll be doing a one boss cell run. We're not going to go to the giant next time. We got to we gotta practice a little bit more. Because I feel like we were super stacked uh, up to that fight. But clearly, we, we were not doing enough. Also, I don't know at what point we actually did damage to the giant himself. Maybe we should just be ignoring the hands. Trying to attack his face or something. I'm... 
not entirely sure. We, we got to find a seam in that one. But for now, that'll be all. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you dislike the video, hit the dislike button. If you want to leave a comment, you can do so down in the comment section. And if you want to see more in the future, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell icon. But for now, that'll be all. Have a good one.